Thanks for watching this video. It focuses on multi-currency in QuickBooks Online. And if you're used to multi-currency in desktop, it's other than a different UI, you know, it's exactly the same. It's in Essentials and QuickBooks Online Plus. You wouldn't find it in Simple Start and certainly not in Self-Employed. We'll show you where to turn it on and things like that. There's a currency list and a, and a few other things. And we'll, I'll be working on an invoice. But for customers and vendors and, and bank accounts, AR and AP accounts, I can even reconcile at the multi-currency level and things like that. When you turn multi-currency on in the gear icon, you go to account and settings. And by the way, converting a file with multi-currency on in desktop will convert over to QuickBooks Online. You just have to confirm the home currency because you're going to have a home currency and that's what all the reports will be based on. Right, so in my case, my home currency is US dollar. If I go to advanced here and scroll down, right, to the currency section, right, I have it turned on. And once you turn it on, you can't turn it off. So there's nothing really to edit. And you'll be prompted or warned, hey, once you turn this on, you can't turn it off. But it would be the same in desktop. Literally the same product manager that did it in 07 in QuickBooks desktop did it, was over it in QBO. So some good consistency there, eh? Eh, right, can it? Okay, um, so you click manage currencies. And this will bring us to the currency list. Now I can also get to the currency list under the gear icon, list currencies. Right? That would be the other place you would find it. And I can edit the exchange rate. We ping the whatever website it is, uh, somewhere on Wall Street. I think it's once a day to update the exchange rates as they update. Like here is actually, this is from, yeah, today at 12.03, last updated. I can edit the currency exchange if I want, put in my own rate, and I can make depending if I have any, you know, Canadian customers, I think I do, I can revalue the currency, which would be like a home currency adjustment, if you will. I can put in my own rate and do a revalue there and a memo, etc. Note, and there's two reports on this. I'll, sh I'll show them at the very end of this video, but we track the uh, gain and loss as well, realized and unrealized. Now, I see. I know you're only seeing about 10 currencies here. These are the main ones, right? But you can always add a currency and just to show you all the ones we have. So it's just going to be the currencies that are available. I don't see a way that I can add a new one. It's really just what's available. But when you click to add currency, you know, we have all the canned ones that are possible. And you'd basically be doing business with regardless of region over the world. Okay, I'm going to go to customers in the left. Or you might have sales, and then you can go to your customers list, whichever left-hand panel version you have. And I have this Canadian customer. So we will go in to edit their details, because it's the other place you'll find it. For currency, if you click on payment and billing, so Canadian dollar. Now, like with the desktop, when you turn currency on, your existing customers and vendors will be USD, or whatever the home currency is. And when you turn it on, you'll have an option to choose a home-based currency, and as I mentioned, that's what your reports will run in. So you'd have to add new customers and vendors to choose a different currency, right? So it's best, obviously, ideally to do this, you know, when you're first setting up the QuickBooks Online file. But it's Canadian dollar here, right? And if I do, uh, if we go back to customers or I'll add a new one, and maybe this could be, you know, Indian, right? So I could choose rupee. So it's pretty easy, whether it's uh, a customer or vendor. And then if we drill into some transactions, even this older invoice, and I know it's been paid, but if I scroll down, I would see the total USD and the total Canadian and the amount received and then the balance due in Canadian dollars. And then if we go to the payment, it's going to be very similar. I know this was back in May, but you'd be able to see um, the total Canadian and the total US dollars here on at the transaction level based on the customer's currency. And then I can even change a, an exchange rate on the fly. If I want to, or I'll just take on, you know, the last updated from the currency list itself. And the same for vendors and, and you know, bills and bill payments and things like that. So you'll see it at that level. And then on the chart of accounts, if I go to transactions, chart of accounts, if we look at, I think I have a Canadian bank account. This is a Canadian bank account in Canadian dollars. It has exchange rate, et cetera, and the amounts in Canadian dollars. And I can reconcile, when I go to reconcile, you'll see too that we have the exchange rate as well. So there's that too. So I'll let you put your transactions through its paces. Just know customers and vendors, you choose their currency. And you know, as soon as you 
create an invoice for a, a customer with a different currency, it's going to create an accounts receivable account for that, right? So you'll see AAR and AP accounts in the different currencies. You'll see bank accounts in different currencies, and you can rec reconcile for that, as I showed. You have the currency list. You know how to turn it on now. You're in essentials or plus. You have to choose a home-based currency for reporting. And the last, let's talk about a little bit more about reporting. If I go to business overview and scroll down with currency turned on, you will see a realized exchange gain and loss and an unrealized exchange gain and loss report. You know, I'm running this for all dates as I haven't done a lot of foreign exchange or currency exchange within this QBO file in a while. But you'll see, here's the realized uh, exchange gain and loss as well, depending on when the there was an invoice and then I got paid two weeks later and the exchange rate was different. So that's what it's tracking. And that's multi-currency in QuickBooks Online.